My name is Mary Kay. I'm a singer-songwriter, and I've been so busy working the last few weeks that I would say I'm a very exhausted singer-songwriter. Why, you ask? Well, just 24 hours earlier and 600 miles away, I found myself bumping down a red dirt road near Capitol Reef National Park, one of God's masterpieces of creation. I was going to be meeting up with some of the coolest women ever who were on a multi-day ride with an outfit called The Cowgirl's Secret. That night around a campfire as the saddle blankets were hung to dry and the night sounds began to fill the air, I sang my songs, hugged my new friends, and then drove through the night to Rio Doso, New Mexico. Dust. We work with the bank that God we trust. And they learn twice. The Lincoln County Cowboy Symposium is a great gathering and one of the largest. I would have to say it has the best shopping of any of the gatherings. In addition, there were mounted shooters, chuck wagons, horse clinics, and lots and lots of dancing. Every night for the big shows, cornmeal is sprinkled on the dance floor, which is a sure sign of some serious dancing. Brad and I felt grateful for a chance to just relax and have some fun. So we're listening right now to Mickey Gilly. He's on the big stage tonight. He's on a Saturday night here at Rio Doso. Other headliners were Asleep at the Wheel, Tracy Bird, and last year, Vince Gill was a headliner. So it's day two of the Lincoln County Cowboy Symposium. And for most of us musicians, our work is done in the morning unless you're a headliner, hashtag goals. Honestly, the thing that's most fun about my career is the friendships Brad and I have made and the time we get with other amazing artists, like the radiant Mickey Daniel, or this talented singer-songwriter from Colorado, Corinne Marie. A big reason I was invited to this gathering was because of this legend in Western music. Dave Alexander. Dave is a musical hero to me, and so is this man, Don Edwards. Don is the quintessential cowboy troubadour. Just one man, six strings, and a slew of cowboy ballads. I loved seeing the connection between Don and his wife, Kathy, reminding me that behind every crazy artist, there's a lot of love and support. And that's good people because artists like myself really appreciate all that love and support. Thanks you guys. see the New York City lights, but I can hear your heart calling. It's the only kind of love song I can write. That's the only kind of